Hello and welcome to IT Army. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a recovery environment in a Windows that is installed in UEFI mode. And if you want to see how to create a recovery environment on a Windows that is installed in Legacy BIOS, check out this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you want to just make sure that your Windows is installed in Legacy BIOS mode or you in UEFI mode, you just right click the start button and click run and type in MS Info 32 and from here you can see that the BIOS mode is UEFI so when your Windows is installed in UEFI mode the disk partitioning style is GPT or grid partition table and in case your Windows is in legacy BIOS mode the disk partitioning style is MBR so let's close this and go on to disk management tool by right clicking the start button and select disk management so from here you can see that the partitioning style of your disk is when I right click the disk and go on to properties and if I go on to volume and from here you can see that the partition style is good partition table or in short GPT. So over here you can see that Windows is installed in UEFI mode so that's why we have the EFI system partition, we have boot partition and we have got the recovery partition. The size of the recovery partition is around 508 megabytes. So I will be doing a disaster later on in this video where I will delete this and then I will show you how to create the recovery partition. Now there are a lot of other videos available on YouTube that show you how to create the recovery partition that contain the entire operating system image. Now uh, back in Windows 7, Windows 8 and even in Windows 10 initial releases a lot of manufacturer pre-installed laptops they used to come with a recovery partition that contains your entire operating system image that takes around 10 to 15 gigabytes but this recovery partition is not that partition that contains the entire operating system but this is a mini operating system that can be used for some diagnostic tools and that can be used for repairing your windows operating system so if I right click over here you can see that we don't have any option to do any kind of modification on this partition. So I will show you from the command line utility how to what this partition contains. So this partition contains a file called as winre.wim that is windows recovery environment wim file. So this file I will be disabling the recovery environment so it moves over here to this location and then I will be doing the disaster and then I will show you how to do that recovery. Now the reason you might want to do is that maybe you had some old hard disk and you did the cloning and you just cloned the EFI and the, the system partition but you didn't clone the recovery partition. Now in case if you are missing this recovery partition you will not be able to perform factory reset or any kind of upgrades. So if I go on to C drive, Windows, we have WinSXS, so that is Windows side by side and all your Windows binaries, they are sitting here in this folder. So that's why the new Windows laptops that you will see that they, they, they don't have a dedicated recovery partition. Whenever you do the factory reset, it actually does from this folder. So that's why we don't have the recovery partition coming in the latest laptops. And it doesn't make sense to create a dedicated partition that contains your entire recovery, uh, entire operating system image because every six months Microsoft comes up with a new environment and uh, it just waste of storage because we don't do the factory reset every day or every week. We do in maybe a couple of years once. So let's close this and uh, let's go to C drive windows and there is a folder called system32 and over here we have recovery and this is the place where you have that recovery operating system image sitting uh, if you disable the recovery environment. So if I go on to options view and show all files and don't hide system protected files click on ok so you can see that this folder just contains as of now one file and when i will disable the recovery environment that operating system file wim file will get moved from here 
to this C drive over here in this folder. So if I type in CMD and I need to open it as administrator. And if I want to see that what is the location of this recovery. So we have a command line utility called as reagent C. So R E A G E N T C recovery agent forward slash info. And from here you can see that the recovery partition is setting in disk zero partition number four. Over here you can see that we have only three partitions. One partition doesn't show up over here, but this is the actually fourth partition that contains your recovery environment. So in that fourth partition, there is a folder called recovery and within there, there is Windows RE and within that folder, there is Windows RE.wim file. So when I will disable that, you're gonna see that that WIM file is gonna move from this recovery partition over here. So reagency space forward slash disable and you can see we got that recovery vim file from the recovery partition to the C drive. Now in case you haven't cloned from the old hard disk to a new hard disk you won't be having so I have already created a video in case you don't have this vim file you can get it from the installation media. So now what I'll be doing is I will be showing you the characteristics of the recovery partition. This is the recovery partition. So we cannot manage from GUI. All we need to do is from the from the command line utility and the command line utility for that is disk part that is disk partitioning utility. And this disk partitioning utility I can use to inspect the partitions and modify them. So if I do list disk or in short list disk and it shows you that how many disks are there Okay, so I will select the disk, so cell disk zero. And now if I do list disk, list disk, so you can see that the star shows here, that means that this is the selected disk. Now in case if you want to see the list of all the partitions, so I can say list partition, and it shows the partition. So you can see there are four partitions and the recovery partition, this one is your partition number four. So uh, if you want to select that, so if I say cell partition four, that partition got selected. Now, if you want to see the details of that partition, so I can say D-E-T-P-A-R. So it shows the details. So you can see that this is the partition. In case of MBR partition style, this partition type used to be integer. And over here in GUID partition table, this is the GUID. So after doing the disaster, I will be creating a new partition. We need to set this as the partition ID and we need to also specify this as an attribute so that it becomes uh, users cannot modify that partition uh, through GUI. So I'll just copy it down or you can search online also the partition IDs. So after recreating the partition, we need this as the GUID. I'll just copy it. and this is the attribute okay so now what i'll be doing is i'll be deleting this partition so if i say del partition and it tries to delete because it's reserved and you won't be able to delete it's going to give you error so it says it's it's uh, delete you cannot delete this so i can force it to delete by using a overwrite parameter and you can see that that got deleted. So this is how your disk partitioning will look like. You will have EFI partition, a boot partition, maybe some other partitions, but you won't be having any recovery partition. So I can just extend that volume like this. So after that disaster, now I can see that I have entire C drive. So now this is where you want to start from that you will be creating a recovery partition so if i right click we can shrink that volume and you need at least 600 megabytes so i will be allocating 1024 that is 1 gb 1 gigabyte and then i will be creating the partition so i can say right click i want to create a new simple volume 
just keep on clicking next 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 finish and that partition got created now this is a normal partition we need to set the id of that partition to this type so i can say we have the set command you can say help set that can be used so i can say set id equal to some integer number if your partition style is uh, mbr and in my case it is gpt so i need to use this one so i can say set id equals to and i copied in notepad this is the partition so i'll just set it and see how it changes in the gui in the graphical user interface when i press enter key and it says oh i deleted that so if i say list partition uh, this partition that i have recently created so i say select partition 4 and that partition is selected and now i'll be executing that command to set the id of the recovery partition so now you can see as soon as i set it became the recovery partition so now what i'll be doing is if i right click you can say still you are getting these options to delete extend all these options we are getting so we don't want to have these options so that user should not be able to delete it so we will set the attribute so we can use attribute command okay so we can use a gpt command so i can say help gpt and this is how you can set the attributes you can say gpt attributes equal to and you paste in the attributes so i'll say gpt attributes equals to and i just paste in that and press enter key uh, sorry i need to fully qualify it attributes equal to and that attribute assigned successfully so now you can see over here it is showing as it's a recovery partition now this is the recovery partition that is empty we need to enable back the recovery partition so that the winre.vim file gets moved from this location to this partition now in case if you are not having winre.vim file you can get it from the windows installation media check out this video for that so let's exit out of here and i say reagency slash enable and then you're gonna see that this file is gonna vanish from here and then it's going to get copied into the recovery partition so now recovery enabled successfully and if i do again reagency slash info and it's telling you that it is sitting in partition number four so this is how what we did in this entire video we did the disaster where i deleted the recovery partition and then we manually created that recovery partition and set the the partition id the attribute and then we enabled the recovery using reagency and yes one more thing i forgot to switch off the showing hidden files so you don't see hidden files again and that's it okay so that's it hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video